fans, Radical Publishing here with Nick Sagan at the Barnes & Noble in Long Island. Uh, we're going to ask Nick a couple questions about his story, Shrapnel. Uh, so Nick, um, please give us some background how you created Sam and her world. Well, this actually was originally a uh, video game. The idea was um, I wound up working with my friend Mark Long on Zork Nemesis, which is an adventure game from the 90s. And uh, we became friends, we found we had a lot of things in common, we really liked ancient battles, we really liked science fiction, we really liked mythology, and we thought it would be fun to work together. And uh, so I, I wrote up a treatment for a video game called Liberty, which was about uh, a revolution on Mars with a uh, female protagonist named uh, Liberty, Liberty Kostikian, I think we called her, Eastern European. And um, the, uh, it was one of these many projects where you think things are going to happen to it and eventually something else takes your attention. But then Mark called me up after a while and said, do you remember Liberty? You want to make a graphic novel out of it. And uh, that was shrapnel. So um, it went through some interesting twists and turns along the way and became, instead of a, a revolution on Mars, it became a, a revolution across the entire system. And so the universe, the idea is that, um, like Stephen Hawking uh, says, we have about 100 or 200 years, we'll be able to colonize other planets, and then we'll be safe from you know, asteroid attacks. If something terrible happens, we'll at least we'll be spread out throughout the system. But uh, the premise of shrapnel is that we do that, but uh, we take our problems with us, and our haves and the have-nots are still at each other's throats, and uh, you have the story of an oppressive government that's gobbling up these free colonies, and the story is about this reluctant heroine in Sam, uh, who winds up a former space marine who has to turn against her former allies and fight for the last free colony. And that's the Aresia Rising story, and then in, uh, in Hubris, that war goes across the entire system and will be concluded in Nemesis uh, probably next year, I think. Right. So, yeah, so beginning in this uh, second installment that you, you came, you actually wrote it. You had a co-writer, Lynette Minnis, uh, write it along with yourself. Um, how did you two decide what the second installment storyline was for the comic book and that of the graphic novel? Well, we actually, uh, before we got this started, Mark and uh, Zach Sherman and I, we all talked about this very long, arcing story for all three books combined. We have the third one plotted out as well. And uh, so we all had a, a very tight uh, outline from the get-go. And then it was interesting, once we had that, trying to find ways of... of uh, I mean, you wanted a tight outline so you know where you're going, but you don't want it so tight that you wind up being locked into things. So I think that, that uh, where it took its, its uh, most exciting, surprising moments are where we were able to not only hit the story we wanted to tell, but allow it to breathe and have these living moments that were surprising even to us as it went through. Great. Now, you mentioned Shrapnel Nemesis, which is the third act um, coming out in 2011. What new characters or plot lines can we expect in the third part of the series? Well, uh, it's, it's, I don't want to give too much away, but um, the story has been leading up to uh, taking on Earth. Earth is where the Solar Alliance is based. They're the ones who've been calling the shots. And uh, Sam winds up becoming a, a uh, transformative figure, inspiring people across the entire system. And uh, she's had to do it with various uh, costs, both uh, personal and moral, and, and people are uh, fighting and dying for her. So now that it becomes the end game. You know, can the, the uh, the people who have the least amount of power in the system rise up and make a stand against the most powerful military. And so it's all building to a head. And uh, to find out what happens, you're going to have to read the book. Great. And as you know, Nick, uh, we're coming out next week with an iPhone game around Shrapnel, actually Radical's first game. What do you think about this new medium for Sam and her story? I think it's great. I mean, considering that the original conception for this was uh, video game, it's wonderful to be able to have some kind of uh, connection to that here. And I think that, uh, you know, mobile phone games, very interesting, new territory, should be very cool. I'm excited that it's there. What I've seen of it looks very true to what the story's about, so uh, I'm excited. Okay, great. And uh, last but not least, is there anything you'd like to say to that shrapnel world, or you're just your fans in general? I say thank you very much for being fans of Shrapnel. Keep following it. Really appreciate it. And uh, let's see great things in uh, 2011 and beyond.